Hi guys, Lesh Rajan from TechRaman and I'm back with the power bank and this time it is from OnePlus. A beautiful power bank. OnePlus power bank is beautifully designed, slim and lightweight. It's very obvious that OnePlus team has put its heart and effort in making this power bank stylish, distinguishable in the similar line of their smartphone. If you own a OnePlus One smartphone or planning to pick a OnePlus 2 which is around the corner or you have an Android smartphone or a Windows smartphone or a iPhone, here is why you should look at the OnePlus power bank. The power bank is available in two colors, sandstone black and silk white. We have the white version for our review. Both the power banks use the similar material that has been used on their smartphone. So the sandstone matte finish is very similar to the OnePlus One version and same goes with the body of the silk white. The body is polycarbonate unlike the metal cases of some of the competing power banks in the market but it still has the premium look. The power bank weighs 222 grams and feels lighter on hand. Though it's a bit longer, it feels sleeker and lighter thanks to its smart designing. Unlike the soapbox type design that most power banks use, the OnePlus it looks like a wedge and smooth with smooth rounded corners and complements well the smartphone especially if you own a OnePlus. There is also a metal rim around the edges to assonate the design and visual language. It comes with two full size USB and one micro USB port. You can charge two devices at the same time. There are four battery indicator LEDs on the side. There are no buttons. The indicators turn blue when getting charged or charging another device. So since there is no button whatsoever, how to figure out how much battery juice is left in the pack? Simple. Just shake it, LEDs light up to indicate. Neat and cool addition. This is a 10,000 mAh battery and that takes a good 5.5 hours to charge fully. Though I would not recommend a overnight charging unless you sleep for less than 5 hours since overcharging might erode the life of any power banks in the longer run. Charging is automatic and instantaneous as you plug in the device. The device comes with 5 watts input and 2 5 watts outputs. The 2 amp output means faster charging. Though do keep in mind, if you are charging two devices at the same time, the charge gets distributed and each device gets charged at 1 amp. During my usage, the OnePlus power bank gave a little more than 80% efficiency or I could strain out 8500 mAh out of the pack, which is good. Anything above 80% is good and OnePlus is good at it. OnePlus says that they have a safety features to prevent overcharging and overheating. There is no pass-through charging but then at the price of 1399 it's not fair to expect that either, right? One gripe I had with the OnePlus power bank, I am not sure if it has automatic intelligent stop switch. When I tested with my MI4 and LG G4 and when the devices are fully charged, the power bank kept charging and it didn't stop and thereby draining the power bank's battery till I physically removed the cable. Not sure if the intelligent stop works with the OnePlus smartphone. So, the concluding notes. If I am looking for a 10,000 mAh battery pack and if I have OnePlus stacked alongside some of the other power banks in mortgage, I might pick the OnePlus. Why? Just for the beautiful design. It is one of the best looking power bank out there and why not want something that looks good too and perform well. So that's the OnePlus power bank review. Hope you enjoyed the review. Give me a like, subscribe to the channel and have any suggestions, please free to drop a comment. Have a great day. This is Lashmarajan signing off for Check Raman and see you. Bye.